All right. So make sure we're on, we're on the post. So you're sealing. You're sealing the post here, and everything should be down sealed. She had that arm in there, so that we have no holes, and we're clear. Because if he does get a quick pass out here, you have holes. We have holes here, here, and obviously here. But that's something we're not worried about on the other side so far right now, because then we can just get a good push out and cover. But you want to make sure you're sealing that post right away. All right? So sealing that post. Okay? Get ready, get ready. Good eye contact. I commit, you get over, that's good, okay? You want to get that pad down so that way when he does come over, okay, you're sealing that ice, okay, and he can't get anything here. So right here, and the pad is going to, if you want to get that pad down, it's going to be a lot stronger for the wraparound too than just the stick. And then I get a little poke and it goes in, okay? So other side. So I'm getting over, okay, and you didn't push over, so now you're losing me, you're losing me, and it's going to be a little bit slower to get over, okay? So now you have to swivel again, get into the post, get into the post, okay, not bad. You can actually flip that stick around the other way, so that way you flip the blocker over and flip the stick around and bring it in and use the backhand. So that way, when you do that, it'll keep the puck over here. When you flip the stick over like this, it comes out and comes out this way. See the difference? All right. And then, puck comes out. If you can get to your feet, that's always the best thing to do. Get to your feet. So power leg, I would full recovery push out. And the puck is coming from this angle and your upper body is square here. See that? Okay, so that's the other thing. Get square around. Okay, square to the puck. So push off, see on the post, good. This is much better than the start. Good, good. Wait for it, wait for it. Good, right to the post. That's fine, skate to the post. But when you bring this knee back here, see how your body can't seal the post because you're leaning over this way, okay? So if you're gonna go with the VH, you gotta make sure you wrap this arm around, okay? That's fine. If you go with VH, that's okay. Make sure this knee gets in tight. Wrap this arm around so that way you can secure yourself to the net. Okay? Pat. Okay, make sure you're committed. Make sure you know he's committed. Now, when we get in the middle, this is what we call the middle of the So this little area in the middle of the net here, so that way it opens up this, oh, this area and this area for wraparounds, okay? So what happens is, what you're gonna be doing, you get to that middle and you just swivel, 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 swivel. So every time you look this way, I go this way. Every time you look this way, I go that way. All right, so we're going here, you're looking, you can't find it, around, and then it goes in, okay? So that's why I wanna make sure, when we're here, see how your, your feet are with the goal line? That's why we want you to be on about a 30 to 45 degree angle, okay? So that makes a huge difference. So that way your sight line, right, is much bigger, all right? But if your feet are flat on that pose, your sight line is only from, oh, sorry. Oh. Here out, okay? And you can't, you can't, what we need to focus on is obviously the player behind the net. Okay. All right.